Hi, I'm Nagin Janati here at the 2012 Social Good Summit, and I'm joined by Adora Spitak, who is an author and a World Food Program representative. I think the question is, how did you get to accomplish all of this at such a young age? Well, it really started with my writing. Um, after I published my first book, I started going around speaking to young people, and that was what launched uh, my speaking. And after going to TED, then I really fell in my role of being a youth advocate, I think. Tell us what your book was about. My first book, Flying Fingers, is a collection of short stories and tips on writing. My second book, Dancing Fingers, is all about poetry. And my third, Young in Disguise, is a novel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so how did you become a World Food Program representative? Well, it actually started right after my TED Talk, and they were doing a lot of initiatives around spreading the word about freerice.com, and so I had the opportunity to visit a school in Canada, go do a field visit in Sri Lanka, and that was really an amazing experience. That's fantastic. So you were speaking on stage a bit about how millennials can really change the world. Tell us how you think they can do that and what the millennials watching right now can do. Well, millennials can really change the world by ensuring that social good is tied into our identities and our images online as well. It can start with something as simple as a click, share something that you believe in. Um, take an issue on, I think like bullying is a really relevant one. I've seen a lot of my friends just do that, share videos, share posts. And take some time, maybe write a blog post, really invest yourself in something and your friends will love the attitude and really jump on board as well.